What is up everyone, it's Grim here, I hope you're all good today. And we're on the pally and I think he's under there somewhere, I think. Yeah, he's under there somewhere, he's fine. But what, all, what is all this? What's this video about? Today we're going to discuss TSM. Now I touched on it briefly when I did my pets equal gold video. And basically it is an add-on that pulls all sorts of different things together and basically enables you to make maximize the amount of gold you can make okay now as I said this is the TSM crafting window it shows you all your items what it's gonna make all sorts of stuff tons of it you can see item value how much profit it'll make crafting costs also there's so much information that you can gain from here okay that's one side of it the other side of it is the auction house side now I am a complete noob when it comes to TSM. I've literally only recently started to use it. It has a huge range of depth. If you want to see somebody use this to its fullest potential, have a look at somebody like Elvine, who is, I think, Elvine LOL on YouTube or Elvine Mod on Twitch. I primarily watch him on Twitch. Absolutely superb streamer. Really informative. Really good. Really good interacting with you know the people in chat superb so go and check him out if you want to see how to make some serious gold I think today he's made something like 18 million gold yeah we're talking serious gold so well worth checking him out but we are not or I certainly am not on the same level and as I say I've only recently started to use this one of the big issues that I had and this is what this video is about and what I want to talk about is my pricing okay as you see here it gives you how much an item is worth Okay, that was grossly out of date. It just, it didn't reflect. Now, for things like, uh, for instance, if I go to blacksmithing. Okay, in blacksmithing, you get reshapers. And basically what that will do is it will re-roll the secondary stats on an item. Okay, now I basically make these to level up. On a side note, if you do want to level up from 1 to 700, those are really good. You can sell them on the auction house, you can put them in the guild bank. They take, as you can see, only the basic crafting material. They take true iron ore. Pretty much every profession has them. Anything that can craft and you need to reroll the stats. Jewelry crafting, leather working, tailoring, blah, 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 blah. You get the idea. You can make that and it's really easy just to hammer them out and fly up and get to 700 in no time. So... Here's the thing, I wanted to sell some of these, and my price was, I believe, in the region of 150, 200 gold. I was like, ooh, yay, make loads of money, let's put that on. And when I put them on the auction house, they were only about 35 gold, and I was like, that's not good. Now, as I say, it's not a huge issue, because I was making these anyway, and I was putting them in the guild bank. But, also, with my engineering, I'll go back to engineering, I was making the guns. Okay, these, the Sheridan Shredder. And at the time, you can see the iron value is at 250. At the time, these were selling for ridiculous amounts of gold. They were selling up like for a couple of thousand gold. So I was like, I'm going to make these and chuck them on the auction. I'm gonna chuck them on the auction house. Fantastic. Now these actually take gear spring parts, which are your big crafting one if you're an engineer. So all of a sudden, the price dropped. The price just went whoop and plummeted. My TSM didn't tell me this. Okay. And now, as you can see, they're down to 250 gold. I had about three or four of these on the auction house for a couple of thousand. And this is only in the last week or so, or in the last two or three weeks. And uh, I was like, why the fuck did you tell me that the price was really good and it's not? So, my own fault, I had put too much faith in. TSM is a really good add-on, but it takes some user input. It takes the user actually having some brains, which I didn't have. Um, but I'm learning, I'm learning. So, I was like, well, what the fuck, why aren't you updating? Now, as you can see, this is your auction database. These are all of your professions, various characters and that. Now, as you can see here, it's got operations, no operation. Understand this is the depth of this add-on. There is so much you can do and set up. I'm not, this isn't a tips and tricks. This is not how to, how to get the most out of this. Not at all, okay? This is just something that helped me out as a very beginner. So... I decided, do you know what, I'm going to run a full scan. Yes, I know, this is, don't, we're going to get to that. So I, let's run a full scan. I ran a full scan, and my game crashed. And for the last couple of weeks, every time I've done that, my game has crashed. I've tried, like, every reset just to see if it'll do it, and my game crashes. And I was like, for fuck's sake. So today, 
Yes, that's how long it's taken. Today, I was like, do you know what? Fuck this. What's this sort of about? I'm a bloke, okay? I don't read the instructions on IKEA flat pack furniture. I just bang it together. If there's stuff left over, hey, they were giving me bonus stuff that I don't need to use, okay? That's that's how I work. So I decided to actually finally read this, and when you do, you realize that you can download the free TSM desktop application, which will automatically update your TSM auction database prices using Blizzard's online APIs and does much more. It does, it does a huge ton. So I decided, you know what, Grim, suck it up, Buttercup. Go over there and see what you're missing. So, let's do a quick, woo, woo, quick segue, and we shall reconvene at their website. There we go. Okay, welcome back, everybody. We're now on the TSM website. Now, as you can see, I'm actually logged in, Grim Gaming UK. You do need an account. If you want to do a lot of this stuff, you want to download, you can get the add-on from Curse. You don't need to be registered for that. But if you want to do this next part, and that is the desktop application, you will need to be registered you need to sign up. Don't worry, they don't ask for your soul. They don't ask for any money or anything. But, uh, you just need a, as always, email address. So, here we are. Trade Square add-on. Now, there is some guides and some overview downloads and all that good stuff about the actual add-on. But as I say, even they say, if I go to download... You can get it via curse, okay? It's not a problem. If you don't want to do all this, fine. Just download it, use it, and enjoy. You don't need to worry about the rest of this side of it. But I would strongly suggest that you do. As you can see, there is an awful lot to it. You have the TSM core. That is what I'm slowly getting into. You have accounting, which will track everything you've put on, sold, how much you've made, refunds, everything. You have additions, you have the auction DB, which is the bit we're looking at right now, and you have auction, you, there's so much, so much, there you go, just down and down and down and down and down, so much stuff, so much, okay? So, we've done that, we've downloaded the add-on, we've got all the bits and pieces, all the bolt-ons, the bit we're going to look at is desktop app, which is the bit we'll update our database, but also something to look at is they have auctions professions, these are live, okay, these are up to date. I go top sellers, okay, I'm already set because this is my account, it's already set to show me of aspects, it will show me who's the, who is the, who's the top seller on our auction house, it will show us great deals, this is the one that I've started to get into, okay, so the blush amber ring, minimum buyout 7 gold, realm market 88, global market 128. So as you can see, you can start looking through and seeing, okay, hang on, where is my profit? Where can I make some money? Okay, we're not going to delve into this, but just be aware of how much information you can actually get from this site. But let's go over you download on the desktop application. Boom. Okay, this is the little bad boy that will update your database for you. If I actually drag mine across, woo, there you go, there's mine. You do need to set up the realm first. So it'll basically, I've set mine obviously to EU Chamber of Aspects, you set yours to whatever you want, whatever your character's on. It will then update your auction database to Chamber of Aspects, it will also, well, that's mine set to Chamber of Aspects, it will also update your global database, okay? Now what does that do? What is that actually going to do for us? Well for that, we need to jump back in the game, so, whew, I'll catch you guys in a second. Okay. <laughs> Here we are back in game. Now, we're going to completely ignore this because we don't need to worry about that anymore. So, let's go browse and let's just look for some random items. As you can see, again, I was on Battle Pets. Weapons. Let's hover over. Oh, there you go. So, what it'll do for us, it'll obviously tell us. Trade skill info. If we disenchant it, how much are we likely to get? We're showing us we're going to get a Shea Crystal at the moment. The Sorry, the Shah. The Shah Crystal is selling for 1 gold 98. Oh, no good. We're better off vendoring it. The vendor price is 45 gold. Now comes the juicy stuff. The bit that I was missing that wasn't there when I originally used the add-on. And that is the TSM Auction DB. As you'll see, there's a time next to it. 48 minutes. Sorry, 43 minutes and 20 seconds. What does that mean? That is the last time my database was updated. Okay. Now, every one or two hours, Blizzard update their online price listings. TSM copies from that and updates its own. So every one or two hours, you're going to get an updated price list. Now, as we can see, the minimum buyout at the moment, 24997 Market value, 24287 The global, so that is on my mark, that's 
at the moment. That is live, okay? The historical price is 22,000 gold. So as we can see, at the moment, the price has actually gone up. But we can also see what is the global on all the servers everywhere in this great big world what is this price and you can see it 14,000 so we are actually 10,000 over that is trading for way more gold now bear in mind there is only two of that item so let's go down here the lava bolt crossbow again we can see disenchant value 6 gold 26 gold if we sell it to a vendor and then we can see the buyouts this is a really good way of let's say we're doing firelands you can look at an item and you can go okay is it worth me a disenchanting that am i getting it more that way is it worth me just vendoring it or if we have a look at the historical data from the auction houses how much is it actually on live okay so here's the key you might have an item that is not on the actual auction house it's not on there at all i've had that quite a lot recently from doing all of the five man and the raid content there's a lot of items i've put on the auction house that haven't sold i don't know so as you can see, by the way, it also shows you a source. This comes from Firelands Trash Mobs. So I then look, and I can go, okay, well, I've got no minimum buyout, and I've got I've got nothing that tells me how much this should cost. So I can go on historical price. Has that ever been on the auction house before? And that will give me a guide for how much I should put it on for. Let's say it's never been on my server, which isn't going to have happened, but if it's never been on my server, it will then show me what is the global Okay, so all of a sudden I have all of this ammunition to work with. I have all this information that is going to enable me to make more and more cash. So I can now go on my Firelands run, my Knacks run, whatever, and I can start finding out how much these things are really going to cost. And saving my money. Now what I mean by saving my money, if you've got, say you've done a Knacks run, and you get an awful lot of green items or BOE items, if you keep putting them on the auction house, eventually some might sell, which will normally cover your deposit cost but if like me you've got 10 alts and they're all farming stuff and they're all putting green items on that's not selling that's eventually going to start taking a dent out your profits which is not what we want we want to make money not lose it so you can come on here and you can actually see what's worth selling and what is not now granted it's still the flavor of the market is it is that going to sell is it not going to sell it's just that in the lap of the gods at times it will also show you things like this i swapped over to blacksmithing now and you'll see here, the Smouldering Greaves, and they sell on the auction house at the moment for, it's telling me here, 129 gold. At the moment, the market value is 131, minimum buy 102. Okay, but what it's shown me right down the bottom, that is TSM Crafting. Now it's shown me the crafting cost, how much is it going to cost me to actually make that item? That's 129 gold. Okay, now it's only selling, minimum buy is 102, the... Historical price is 83, so the 131 we're looking at, hmm, that's at the very top end. So as you can see, if we buy the true iron ore, we're going to actually lose 27 gold. So you can start working out, is it worth going on the auction house and looking at, say, wind wool cloth? If we can get it for X price, then we can start making items and just selling them to a vendor and actually making gold. So... As I say, I'm literally scratching the surface on this add-on, and I hope to get into it more, and as I learn more, let you guys know. If, by the way, you are a TSM master, and you're somebody that's making a shit ton of gold, please, by all means, put some comments down below, let me know if I've gone wrong, let me know what areas I should look at, all good sites to go to, good links for guides, that sort of thing. If you're somebody that does YouTube, and you've got TSM, put a link down below, and I'll go check out your video because I'm really interested to learn more about this because I see the potential but obviously I am not yet a master but uh, that's it guys this video has gone on long enough TSM if you haven't already definitely check it out it is uh, I can see good things I will just say a very quick one because I've said battle pets will make gold if you go to battle pets you will notice if I go search boom TSM tells me fuck all the reason for that is because and this is what they've said, not me, that there's so much data. Okay, basically when they put uh, auction when they put a battle pet together, the numbers can vary drastically. They would have to make an item for every single battle pet. That's their reasoning behind it. Now you can see I've got other auction add-ons which are doing a simplified one that are telling me 
how much something's on for, how much you can undercut it by, average prices, that sort of thing. It's not as detailed as TSM, but if you are going to download it purely for looking at battle pets and see what you can make, what you can't make, it doesn't cover that because there's too many variables in it. So just to let you guys know. But uh, for everything else, it seems absolutely superb. Have a great one, guys, and I will catch you later.